can't see clear Think I'm lost inside and the end is near It's just not fair Hey guys, it's 681 Shadow, and welcome to the promotional video for the second 681 Shadow Smash Ultimate Tournament. Now, if you didn't know that I had a first one, well, we, that was sort of pretty much just like a test run. We, uh, I pretty much only like um, advertised it through Discord, so I didn't really make a video on it. We did stream the entire tournament. I learned a lot of stuff about uh, running a tournament through there, as well as you know streaming it and doing all that kind of stuff. So. I definitely plan to make this tournament way better than the first one, and we're definitely it's definitely going to be a fun time. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the rules as well as uh, giving you guys just some ba baseline info, as well as uh, showing people how the bracket is going to work. Because I know not everyone may not I know everyone uh, may not be knowledgeable about like how the bracketing system is going to work. So I uh, I do have uh, I am going to show you that in this video as well. So definitely, if you're interested in, in watching, stay tuned for this as well, and. Um, if you are interested in joining, be sure to just join the Discord server that is uh, in the description of all my videos, and just let and just let either uh, let either myself or a moderator know that you are want that you want to join the tournament, and we can, we'll put you on the list. So, so to start with the rules, we have like the you know the basic game setting stuff for uh, the rule set when you're making the arena. So games are going to be three stocks, seven minutes. Um, the handicap off, team attack on. Uh, standard launch rate, items off and none, no FS meter. Pretty standard like competitive stuff, all like items, stage hazards, all that kind of stuff off. Um, stage selection, we're going to get to stage selection stuff in a bit here in the rule set as well. Um, and yeah, and then also um, the other, the only like other important thing that's on here, Mii Fighters are permitted with any combination of specials, meaning that um, if you're using a Mii Fighter, you are able to um, you are able to use whichever uh, specials you want on them. There's no limitations on those whatsoever. Okay, so just for some general rules now. So um, yeah, so definitely uh, try your best to have a functional Wi-Fi connection because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, mandate that you have to have a LAN adapter for a tournament like this, especially with like no uh, ca especially with no like uh, cash prize and stuff like that. But like we yeah we had a, a we had a couple of situations last tournament where uh, there were some like pretty laggy matches and watching a laggy match and watching a laggy match and playing a laggy match just isn't fun for anyone involved so try your best to have um you know workable Wi-Fi like if it's func if it's functional and just just like a little bit of input lag it's fine but like if there's like a lot of lag then that's not really not going to be fun for for everyone and then yeah make sure you're active in Discord being active in Discord is crucial for this tournament because everything's gonna be happening through discord i'm gonna be calling matches through discord i'm gonna be um yeah matches will be called through discord um if they disputes based on like matches and stuff like that that's gonna happen through discord so the di and all the information for the tournament um any like information the day of leading up to the tournament is going to be posted on discord so it's absolutely essential for you guys to join the discord server and then the way the bracket's gonna work is that most bracket games will be best of three and um, right now, I'm saying that winners finals, losers finals, and grand finals will be the only best of five matches. But depending on how many people we get, like if we get a mass amount of people in this tournament, um, then um, then I might do all of top eight being best of five. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I will. Uh, I'll update everyone in the Discord when I make that. If I make that decision to change it to that. Um, and then just for um, actually before before I move on here, let me show. Uh, how the bracketing is going to work. So for like best of three and best of five. So yeah, so here's the bracket from the last six eight one shadow uh, smash tournament. So yeah, we had a, a modest fifteen people in the tournament. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, so what we ended up doing was um, so we start out with most of these matches here are best of three, meaning that uh, you have you would have to win your match twice. You have to have to win twice against the person to move on. Like for example, for this match here, we had Brendan versus Cosmic Gallade. It ended, um, I believe Brendan won game game one, Cosmic Glade won game two, and then Brendan won game three. Yeah, and because Brendan won twice there, he was able to move on to his next round. And because there's a and also these tournaments are double elimination, I do need to add that. It is double elimination. So because Cosmic Glade lost here doesn't mean he was out. He did get sent to the losers bracket down here for a second chance. And so it's best of three for all those except for the winners finals here, the losers finals down here, and grand finals. And yeah, so that's pretty much how the bracket is going to work there. And if you, um, so if you're, if you win losers finals, you go to grand finals. 
And in grand finals, if you're coming from the losers bracket, you have to win two back-to-back best of five sets against the uh, the person who came from winners to be able to uh, win the entire tournament. While the person from coming from winners only has to win one set against you in the best of five. So that's pretty much how the bracket that's pretty much how the bracket works in a nutshell. Um, basically, I'm gonna try my best to uh, seed people based on skill. It was easier for this tournament because of how few people there were, but. I definitely expect there to be more people in uh, this t- in our second tournament, which is going to be happening on June sixth. So definitely, um, yeah. So definitely be prepared for uh, for me to try to seed people. There may be some uh, some people who are not properly seated. It's it, it's ba- I feel like it's bound to happen if we have a big turnout. It's just the way these things end up working out. But I will do my best to make sure people are seated um, as properly as they can be. So, in terms of all the rules here. Um, if your opponent doesn't contact you to set up your arena within 10 minutes of your set being called, then um, they'll most likely be DQ'd unless they have a lot of, uh, unless they have like a very like extreme circumstance um, for for the reason that they weren't there. Like, yeah, like if something like crazy, I feel like if something crazy happens or if it's like a really legitimate um, reason, and they come like right after, then they won't get DQ'd for that. But, but yeah, and and also. Um, Unlike the first tournament, I'm not going to be streaming every single game because even though we only had 15 people last tournament, streaming every single ga- streaming every single set took like six and a half hours. So, and I'm not I don't want to have that long of a stream because it's definitely a, a long haul to have that kind of stream. So, I'm definitely yeah. So I'm we're definitely going to be having matches go out um go off stream. I may have multiple streams for uh for the stream for uh matches. I'm not sure yet, but. There will definitely be a stream on my Twitch, so be sure to follow my Twitch, um, which is 681Shadow. It should be in the description as well. Um, Alright, so then, um, in the event of a, of a timeout, so if you're playing one of your games and the uh, the 7 minute timer um, runs out and the game is still going, um, the sudden death is not going to decide who wins, the, who wins the game, because sudden death is not really skill based at all. So, the way we deal with a timeout is... Um, is that the winner is determined um, by which player has more stocks. So let's say if uh, two if two if two players, let's say like player A and player B, let's say when they tie when the time runs out, player A has two stocks and player B only has one. Player A would be the winner of that match in that case. But if player A and players A and B had the same amount of stocks, the winner is the player with the lowest percent at the end of the match. So that's pretty much how that goes. Um, I also might add here in very extreme situations where if you somehow have because uh, this, this is the rule in some tournaments it, it's a very extreme case but if both players have the same amount of stocks and the exact same percent what they can do is that they can do a um, they can do a one stock game yeah one stock three minute game if possible yeah, or they can just do a yeah, they can just do a one stock game and uh, the winner of that one stock game will uh, will take that will take that match of the set. It will take that game in the set. And if you have any other questions or concerns before or during the tournament, don't hesitate to reach out to me uh, on Discord. I'm definitely gonna do. I'm definitely gonna want to do my best in uh, resolving any issues, um, answering any questions, making sure everything is all clear um, to everyone who's gonna be joining in the tournament. All right, and then the last thing I really want to go over is the stage selection process because. One of the yeah you know, one of the critiques that I got about the way I ran the last tournament was because was that I didn't really outline the uh, stage selection process, and I definitely feel like um I definitely feel like outlining it here is going to be good especially for newer players to turn it well to newer players to tournament format because not many people like for me I I like I started playing in tournaments in like September of 2019 I I didn't understand like the stage selection process of like actual tournaments until um until like January I would say. So yeah, like December or January. So it's definitely good to have it outlined like this. So the way it's gonna work is that for game one of your set, um, players will decide who who uh, will it will ban stages first via rock paper scissors or some other method or an, or another method of your choice. Rock paper scissors is just the norm. Um, then the way this banning will work is that you have these starter stages down here, which are Battlefield, Final Destination, Pokemon Stadium 2, Smashville, and Town and City. So what will happen is that uh. Let's say player A wins rock, paper, scissors against player B. So player A will ban one stage from this list of five in the starter stages. So let's say player player A bans Smashville. That means Smashville cannot be chosen for uh, as the stage to play on in that set. Then let's say player two, player two 
then bans Final Destination and Town and City, getting rid of those two stages from the list. And then lastly, player and then player uh, A again will let's say they ban Battlefield, which means that the only playable stage that's left is Pokemon Stadium Two, so that's the stage they would play on for game one. And also just to note, um, just in general, if you want to use a variation of Battlefield or, F or Final Destination, like for example, if you want to use like um, Battlefield version of um, of like the Wii Fit um, the Wii Fit stage, just for example. Um, you would have to have both players agree on that for certain variations. And if it's not agreed on, then you mu if it's not agreed on by both players, you must use the sta the standard battlefield or the standard final destination. And then for game two and onwards, um, so let's say player B wins game one, and so because player B won game one, um, they are able to then ban two stages, and this can also this includes the uh the the stages that you can ban. Are inclu includes the starter stages, which are these five, as well as the counterpick stages, which are Kalos Pokemon League, Lilac Cruise, Yoshi's Story, and Yoshi's Island. And so let's say player B bans Yoshi's Story and Battlefield. Then from there, um, the loser of the previous game, so player A, would be able to choose from the remaining list of stages. And then that, pr that would pretty much continue until the set is over. Um, and all... Yeah, so basically, like, let's see, let's say, for example, game two, a player A one wins, the player A would ban two stages, and player B would choose from the remaining stages on the list. And there's, and, and also just for bans, um, when you, if you ban, if, yeah, if you ban a stage in, yeah, banning a stage for one game doesn't mean it's banned for the next game. You would have to ban it again. The stages don't stay banned. Yeah, I know that might be like a misconception that some people might have, so definitely also want to clear that up. And also, no DSR. DSR is um, a rule that is um, in some Smash tournament c called Dave's Stupid Rule. Basically, it just means that um, if you win on a stage in a set, you cannot go back to that stage in that set. So we're not doing that rule. You can go. You're able to go back to uh, a stage that you won on. You know, assuming it's not banned. The only way you can't go back to a. You, the only way you cannot go to a stage is if it's banned or if it's a counterpick stage for game one. But yeah, that's pretty much the rules. So if you go, once again, the tournament is going to be happening on June sixth. Um, the time that it's going to start is still pending. I'm going to let you guys know that in the Discord once uh, the date gets a little closer. Um, there's no registration deadline right now, but um, definitely be sure to um, definitely be sure to join the Discord server for more info. And if you want to join, also be sure to go there. Let either myself or one of my moderators know. We'll get you the we'll get you the role to enter the tournament. But yeah, I definitely hope you all are excited about this. I'm super excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, with that, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.